Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series S. And in this video, I just wanted to discuss using a mouse with the Flight Simulator because it does uh, it does make the game easier to, to, to play. But don't think you've got to sacrifice your controller. So here we have my um, nice little Xbox controller, which is great for doing the camera, isn't it? And great for doing a picture and your and all that sort of stuff. And here is my mouse, which is attached to my Xbox Series S through this long extension cable. You can probably see going around there, over the top, and then it goes in the back down there. Now, obviously, a wireless mouse would be a would be a better option, but I haven't got one, um, and I haven't got the space to have sort of two mouses. So, what happens when you have a mouse? Well, when you're playing the game. Everything, you know, the, the flying around, this is all normal on your controller. And you can do the camera with your, so you know, movement is on your right stick, left stick, sorry, and the camera is on your right stick. But when you move your mouse, you simply get a mouse pointer appear. You probably just be able to see it. Now, you can use the, the scroll wheel to zoom in and out with your view. And you can click and hold the right button to move the camera around, should you wish. But where it really comes into its own is for doing the menus because you can do all this much, much easier. I'm scrolling up and down with my mouse wheel there than when you're trying to, to uh, do it with your controller, especially when it comes to shutting things down and opening things up um, and looking at things. Everything is so, so much faster. So if you can imagine the kind of, the way it really works is you're just playing the game normally as you normally would. Uh, shut that down. Um, with with your controller, so you're just controlling it normally as you're flying around, and then when you want to um, go onto the mouse, you you can you can in fact. I, I mean, I can't really show you now, but if you can imagine you, you're flying like that with your left hand, with your thumb on the on the stick, and then your right hand can independently be on the mouse, moving the mouse cursor, so you can do them at the same time. So when you go into the the menu, this menu here, you don't have to rely on the autopilot kicking in. <laughs> and and changing your direction as it does you know when you go into autopilot when you go into the the menus the autopilot kicks in and if you've got like a separate destination uh, set that you haven't you're not flying towards the, the plane will turn around and start flying towards that so i would suggest if your xbox series s or x is close enough where you've got a flat surface where you can have a mouse and use a mouse with flight simulator definitely go for it it makes a big difference makes the game much more playable and easier to easier to control when it comes to going into the menus and doing some of the more advanced um more, more advanced settings and don't worry it doesn't sacrifice the ease of use of being able to use your your thumbsticks as as the control uh, for the control surfaces so there we go hopefully that's useful um, yeah, if you've liked the video, hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.